Welcome to this week's Fridays in the Field, brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. August is here, and we're back in Scotts Bluff with Jason Harriman. Jason, I understand the month of July was pretty busy, as you and your wife, Austin, welcomed your first baby. Uh, yes, uh, had, a, had our first child, uh, came a little early, but uh, we had, uh, had him on the 5th. Uh, his name's Riggs, so uh, we're pretty excited about it. Um, and uh, looking forward to him hopefully farming in the future. So That's great. And speaking of farming, how have your summer crops been progressing? Progressing really well. Um, we're still ahead of schedule, I feel like, for the year. Um, you know, some of the early stuff we planted has really come along. Um, and even the later stuff that uh, we got in uh, right at the end um, is still on track. And uh, all the corn's pollinating right now, so feel like it's a little bit ahead of schedule in the normal years so um, things are progressing really well at this time. Jason how has the heat been affecting your crops? The hot weather has definitely uh, you know sped things up. Um, We've had some with the smoke in the air we've had at least a few good days of you know sunshine so hopefully uh, the wildfires you know to the west of us and stuff in the south Hopefully they get some rains and we get some good sunlight here to finish everything off. So so I also know you have cattle. How are your forage crops coming along? So we had oats um, for a forage crop. Uh, we bailed that up uh, a few weeks ago. We were going to put some other forage crops in behind it, uh, but I think now we're switching gears with just how hot and dry it's been. Uh, I think we're just going to go towards a wheat rotation on that stuff. Uh, Not really knowing what the water situation is going to look like. Um, Farmers don't always get to take a lot of free time in the summer. But Jason, this year you and your dad, Doug, have been able to pursue a hobby you both enjoy, restoring old tractors. How did you guys get started in that hobby? When I was younger, uh, we had a John Deere A uh, that him and I restored together. Um, And then uh, uh, we've been pulling with uh, Heartland Series uh, and... So we pulled with them guys for a long time and then uh, just was kind of a little hobby that dad and I have always done together, him and I, uh, during the summer. And we started out with a John Deere and now we have an Oliver 77 that him and I restored. So just kind of fun project, uh, find a find a tractor setting in the weeds and we fix it up and dad and I go tractor pulling. So tell us more about that Oliver. Why did you pick it to restore? Primarily, Dad wanted to, uh, he always wanted an Oliver, so uh, we found one a long time ago and it took us a long time to fix it up to the way we wanted it, uh, but uh, yeah, just uh, found something different, and uh, so yeah, this is Dad's tractor, and then I have one that I pull. Uh, I have a 1066 International, um, and it was always kind of one of those dreams of mine to build, and so dad and I found one uh, a while back and slowly getting that to where we want it. So just kind of something him and I do together during the winter and work on stuff. And then when we have a chance in the summertime, we go play. So, Thanks, Jason. And we'll check back with you and your crops in a month. I'm Trebella Guzman, and you've been listening to Fridays in the Field, brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. <laughs>